Live looping can be a really great way to come up with new ideas and sort of get out of a writer's block when you're struggling to make new music. I know it's quite common for guitar players to do this using loop pedals, but really anyone who is a musician can do this and it's a great way of coming up with new ideas. So in this video I'm just going to take this loop that I came up with and turn it into more of a solid lo-fi beat. But before I do that I do have a confession, often when I'm making this kind of video I've got a pretty limited time constraint so I'm just trying to come up with a new idea as fast as I can which does not always work out for me. So I did actually start off trying something a little bit different for this video, it was going to be more of an upbeat guitar loop but it didn't quite work out for me. However, I'll just play a demo of what I was working on that inspired this track. There's some similarities between the two. I did make it a little bit more mellow, but this is the other loop I initially tried to make for this video. So yeah, this was the initial idea that I started to film, but as the song progressed, I sort of lost my love for it. So I started again with a similar chord progression, but something a little bit more my usual vibe. So yeah, maybe I'll revisit this one day, but for now, on to layering into the original dreamy lo-fi loop. So today's video has not really gone as I'd planned it initially, uh, so I hope up to now it's been an interesting and coherent video. I had a few different ideas that I started and then scrapped, so it took me a while to get to this final version of the track. However, I'm just going to play a little snippet of the final version of the track now, and then I'm going to break down the full Ableton project file, um, and then I'll also play the full demo at the end of the video as well, so if you want to skip ahead and watch that first. Uh, you can do. I'll put the timestamps in the video down below. I've got some exciting videos and news coming up in the next few weeks and months, so please do hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be the first to hear about it. I've done a collaboration with Universal Music as well as a collaboration with MTV Asia that I'm going to talk about in the next few weeks. But for now, anyway, here is the short demo and then I'll break down the project file. So this is the full project file, I've just got this basic uh, vinyl noise in the background as always and then I'll quickly mention as well I've got two sends, one of them has got uh, an auto filter just cutting out the lows with Little Plate which is a reverb from uh, Sound Toys, I've also got Crystallizer from Sound Toys and a Fresh Air, so that's on send one 
and send to it's got a filter delay a little play and a the same auto filter um as well there is going to be a sound toys video soon um i'm still sort of getting my head around all the plugins that i want to talk about um so yeah i want to make sure it's quite informative but that's coming out in the future but yeah those are the two sends that i've got running at the moment so starting off with the guitar fading in from the introduction demo and that's fully going to uh, the send one and then the second layer comes in on the guitars there's just an EQ uh, they've been flattened because I applied soothe to them to cut out some of the muddiness and then flatten them because soothe is quite CPU heavy and then on the instrument group I've just got some uh, sweep in cuts uh, so layering in with the first bit I've got this uh, piano uh, I've grouped the piano together this is an imaginary piano no effects just box standard imaginary piano and then again an EQ on the keys group which is just two different imaginary pianos so when the drums kick in I've got uh, a second layer of piano that comes in this is just an octave higher and these are all just playing the same chords as the main guitar. That one's just arpeggiated and an octave higher. And that plays throughout the track, as does the guitar, except for the very last bit where I cut out the second section. I've got this guitar two line, which is actually the line that I recorded in the introduction, but it didn't really fit the track in the end after I started adding more, so I've got a uh, second line that actually did make it so introduction is just piano guitar and then once the drums kick in i've got this bells thing uh which is actually from the spitfire audio uh albion solstice i just literally picked it up uh today on black friday um because mainly because i wanted a different plugin that they were offering free with it um, but yeah, uh, not really looked through it yet, but this is quite a nice sort of cinematic, um, I don't know what it is, bells of some sort. And that's just playing the same thing as the Imagero piano. It's just the chords that are played in the guitar. So that's that. Uh, and then I've also got this lead piano line, which is the Ulfa Arnold's Felt Grand that I've talked about in previous videos. Um, just with a bit of a high cut. Uh, on top of that, we then layer in the synth, which is again for an Ulfa Arnold's uh, kit. It's the Stratus Synth Matrix Swarms. Just a nice sort of high texture. When the drums drop out, it goes double octave as well. Like that. And then finally, in the instrument group, we have just this new lead guitar. So it's got my usual guitar chain, so I'll close that, and then it's just got a spaced out uh, reverb. And there's various sends going on in the instrument group. So the guitar's going to send A. Um, this main guitar is also going to send A. And so the bells. Uh, so this one's super ambient I've got a lot of things going to the first end which has got the uh, reverb on so that about covers the instrument group quite a simple one I've probably before officially releasing this uh, go back in at some point and just add the final touches um, that's usually the nice part because you've got the core of the track and it's just final additions to add a little bit more depth and um, just so you can listen to it a few times and still sort of pick out different sounds and textures. Um, so yeah, that is the instrument group. The bass, which I showed as well, is the uh, a new Black Friday purchase. I actually got this for £40. Pounds. Um, it's usually £200, so that's pretty pretty good. It's because they bundle it up with uh, one of the Alpha Arnold sets and one of the Symphony Orchestra sets. I had the both of them, so the actual bundle was only £40, quid, which is crazy because I've been wanting this one for a while. I saw Jordan Rakai use this in one of his videos and it just sounded really smooth. So it's just a nice sub bass. There's a few different presets. Uh, it's in the 
Spitfire North 7 vintage keys, just the all round basic. But this, I've not really messed with this interface, uh, but there's loads to, to tweak in the Ethernet interface. So that's just a nice sub. And then finally, we've got this kick, which is actually paired with the snare because when I was recording it, I had it in the same channel just so I could drum it all in. I'll probably split that up for mixing, but yeah, just a drum and a sort of wooden percussive snare. And I will be releasing some more. Uh, well, I've got a sample pack in the works, so there's going to be a lot more to come in that. There's going to be a lot more percussive snares, drums, instruments. There's a lot in that one. I'm still trying to finish it and get it perfect. Um, so yeah, that's the kick. And then finally, in the hi-hats, I've got just the brush hi-hat, which I drummed in on video. Just a simple pattern. I've layered that with a brush sound, uh, the sort of percussive uh, top thing, and a shaker, which was actually just a juggling ball. I like to layer the hi-hats and with different shakers and other sounds that aren't necessarily hi-hats, because I think once it all starts to merge together, um, gives it a really nice texture and then finally I did a little beatbox thing here which is uh, heavy in the reverb I used brush free to get rid of some of the background noise from my laptop and then I've sent it to send A and then for the B section I send it to send B which has got the reverb and the delay so then all together Quite a simple one this week, um, but I think it sounds nice and I'm definitely going to do something with this one. Um, but yeah, I hope this was interesting. Sorry if I rushed through the Ableton bit, I'm trying to keep this one uh, short, but do let me know in the comments if there's any more that you want me to break down in more detail. Um, but yeah, please do comment and like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, it really helps the channel and uh, there's a lot more to come, so do stay tuned. But yeah, catch you next time. Thank you.